fellow Southern Cameroonians and Bazonians, I come to you from four days of deliberation at the conclave to announce the election of an executive council with an executive, a legislature, and a judiciary on the model of the Magna Carta and habeas corpus. We have a new leader, Sisiku Ayub Julius Tabe, and his vice, Mr. Tassan Wilfred, and a Secretary General, Mr. Milan Atta. We have been in consultation with the people on the ground. After a grueling four-day deliberation, contacting our people in jail, our people on the ground, and our people in the diaspora, we have come out with a crack force leadership pumping new blood and impetus into the Southern Cameroon movement to take you to Boya in the shortest possible time. We have created a commission on education that is going to create the finest Anglo-Saxon tradition and curriculum in education so that our children should have the quality education for the 21st century that will be the pride of Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Southern Cameroonians, you will be listening to our new leader, Siseku Tabe Julius Ayub. You will be listening to his assistant, Mr. Wilfred Tassa. But all of them are there because of the enormous support that you have provided. We are going to continue the ground game. Have no doubt in your mind that international law is on our side. And we are going to continue this battle until we reclaim our independence in record time. La Republic du Cameroon is quaking in its boots. They have no government because Paul Bia's two sons are fighting for power with the northerners and the Bamilikis who are contesting power in that keg of gunpowder. So southern Cameroonians have no doubt in your mind. New blood has been pumped into your leadership and this new leadership will be taking you to Boya. We will be in touch. Aluta continues.